because the bluebells have started appearing in my garden so I thought we'd have a little go today at some bluebells. I'm just drawing in a little stem here. To be honest you don't really need to draw these in you could just paint them directly. But I like to give you a reference to drawing them. You have like a little ball, a trumpet at the end, splaying open. A little ball, and then three little bits coming off. Some of these two overlap. you in. You can always add to it. We're going to do something nice and loose. I've got a little bit of a stem there. I'm going to get a nice background on, so a bit of water. If you stick around to the end, I'll go through and the colours that I'm using so you can have a go and I'll actually jot them down at the side of the picture as well. So I'm going to come in with some blue. Going for a nice loose background. And then this is a little bit of rose. Just let the watercolour do its own thing. So I'm dabbing in and then letting it do its own thing. If you mix too much, you'll end up with quite a lot of purple, which we don't want at this stage. We've come in with some green. And take a little bit of that blue back into this green. A little bit more blue in here. I'm stroking as if there might be an odd stem there through at the back. Okay and then what I'm going to do is sprinkle a little bit of table salt on and then I'm just going to let that dry and the salt will work its magic. So I've got some in my hand I'm just going to sprinkle few little bits in here and then I'm just going to let it dry and show you the effect and we're going to work over that. So that's nice and dry now so what the first thing we've got to do is rub this salt off. We don't want that to stay on the picture. You see it's created a lovely sort of mottled texture effect where it's, the salt's actually lifted out the paint and it works really nicely for a, a loose background, especially for flowers. So what I'm going to do now is start with some sap green with a bit of water in 
and then I'm going to have a little bit of blue ready with some water in and a little bit of a violet colour ready with some water in. And I'm going to work quite quickly. So I'm going to bring in, and I'm thinking background now. This is a second layer of background. Bring in some leaves. It's going to start to pair. Still an odd bit of salt on here. So I might get some additional texture appearing. And we're building up towards the foreground, which will be a detailed or more detailed blue bells. Dab straight into that blue and just bring some of that through as well. With that blue, I want to create a few distant stems. You'll notice that I'm working quite quickly. I'm working with my number six. Then I'm just doing some random dabs with this violet. The reason I'm working quite quickly is because I want to get a little bit of a spritz on this with a water spray, just to soften some of it in. So I don't want this to be too hard. So this is just random dabbing that's going to appear to be bluebells later. If I get my rigger and then come into that violet again. And just shoot some down, some stems. And now I've got a water spritzer. It's a little water spritzer. I'm just going to mist over the picture. So I just want to blend in particular the bluebells I've just popped in. You see them spreading? I want them to look loose. I'm going to dry that off. So that's dry now and I've got now two really nice layers. It's nice to build up these layers um, and we're going to go now for the a little bit of detail. When I say detail, I don't really do that much detail, um, but I'm going to go for a little bit just to bring some bluebells out in the foreground. So the first colour I'm going to aim for is my sap green. I'm just going to bring some of that in to the stem. And this is coming on to dry. Pop in some leaves around the bottom. We're down into a little bit of the blue just darken some of these foreground leaves up so that they stand forward. So I'm just adding a little bit of blue in there. Okay, 
and do the same with the stem just to bring a little bit of the blue down just to help to define it a little bit more stand forward I'm going to come into some lighter blue just to start these bluebells off so I'm going to dab in I might add a couple more Just starting to create that sort of trumpet base. And I've got some violet. I'm just going to start to drop that in one side. I'm going to concentrate on one side only. with a rigger on a little bit of the violet I'm going to start to pull stems to the main stem start to flick out bottoms Because the paint's still quite wet, it's giving you the opportunity to still continue to move it around. So you must make sure you put enough paint on that it stays wet. And you can then play with it a little bit. The, the hazard does is if you go in too dry, that you end up seeing lines appearing where it's starting to dry. You want it to stay nice and wet. And then with some of this violet again, I can just run down the stem, make it a little bit darker. It's a great shadow colour. Bring that in at the bottom as well. Gives it a little bit more depth at that bottom section. And then with my toothbrush, I can pick up a little bit of the violet onto the toothbrush. I'm holding it downwards towards the picture using my thumb. Keep it quite close, creating some really nice spatter on here. You don't need a lot of paint, but you do need a bit to dip it into if you want to do any other colour you can so I pick up a little bit of that rose that I've had in the background and just a little bit of the rose in there as well
okay so what I've done here for you thanks for watching to the end I've got my colors that I've used throughout the picture so cobalt blue cerulean blue violet rose and sap green I hope you've enjoyed it see you next time